Hey, what's up you guys? This is Zach with PC Bros. And today I'm gonna to show you how to install a SATA SSD into your computer. I'm gonna show you in this video how to install it and after even allocate it and get it set up in Windows. Before we get started with that, I'm going to show you the difference between a SATA SSD and an NVMe. Okay, so these are the two most common storage devices that you'll see in pretty much every gaming computer today. So this is an NVMe SSD. This is not the one that I'm gonna be showing you how to do today, but these are usually used for boot devices because they are faster than regular or SATA SSDs. They're a little bit easier to install, but this is a 2.5 inch SATA SSD. I'm going with the Team Group one. These are nice, we usually use these a lot at PC Bros. And these are still pretty easy to install. So let me show you what you need to install the SATA SSD. First, you're gonna need the SATA SSDs that usually come with the motherboard. If you do not have them and not sure where to get them, we do sell them on our eBay, on the PC Bros eBay. I'll put a link in the description. For very cheap, I mean, these cables aren't expensive at all. And they usually come with two of them. One that is straight, and then one that has an angular side. And then the second cable will be in the power supply, or if you have a fully modular pow power supply, it'll, usually, it'll still come with it. Or it'll be the SATA cables that look like this. Very similar to these, but just a little bit bigger. So you can use any of them. The power supply usually comes with many. Any of them will do. I usually like to use the one that's closest, so it'll keep cable management a lot tighter. There's a couple different places you can put your SATA SSD. Now this case, if we turn it over, Usually, you'll find that cases would wanna put the SATA here. Now you could install the SSD here or here, but to make it easier, I'm just gonna show you how to install it in the front. So let's flip it back to the front. And if you see right here, there's four different holes where the SATA is gonna rest. I don't know if you can see that very well. Let me zoom in a little bit. All right, if you take a look closer inside here, you'll see these four holes. This is where I'm going to put the SATA SSD. Make sure you do the ports facing down. That way it's just a little bit cleaner. It can go through those holes and hide cables. First off, let's screw it in. Again, ports facing down. And we'll just go in the back and I'll show you how to screw in the SATA SSD. All right, when you go to screw it in, you're gonna wanna use the same screws as you did the motherboard for the PC, if you have any left over. So I'm gonna take one hand, place it in position on the back here then install these screws. When screwing in these screws, make sure you do not screw them in too tight because they will break off on the SSD. And I've had that happen before and it is no fun. Now that we got the SSD screwed into the case, I'm gonna show you how to install the two cables that I showed before. Again, I'm gonna use this angular one and one side is not angular. We're gonna take that flat side and go underneath where we have those ports and we're going to put it in that smaller one. It can only go one way, so once you hear that click, you know it is in correctly. Now that we got one side in, I'm gonna take this second side and plug it in to these ports right here. Sometimes there's ports on the bottom um, any of the ports will do. There's a lot to choose from. And then I'll just put it on one of these until it clicks. Again, it can only go one way. And then I'm gonna just tuck in the cable. We will worry about the cable management later. Now we only have one cable to go and we're going to take one of the SATA cables from the power supply and plug it into the bottom. Now I might need to open this up because some of the ones I want are not very easy to get to. So we're gonna take our power SATA cable and we're going to feed it through that same hole as the other one. Let me flip over the case so you can see it. And we are going to install it right next to that other one. This is the same way where it can only go one way. And once it clicks in, pull it through. And now you have both SATA cables installed. All right, once you're done installing, put all the cables back where you, they were before and then put that back back on before we go to Windows and I'll show you how to allocate and uh, activate the secondary drive. All right, here we are in Windows. You're going to wanna go to the bottom left search bar and type in disk management. This is gonna show all of the storage devices you have plugged into your PC. And if it is not allocated, it will show you right here, like on the top in black. 
This means you can't use it yet. So this bottom one here is healthy. This is our boot device. And we wanna get that one, this top one, to look like that. So go over to this side on the left and initialize the disks. Now, you don't really need to click on anything other than OK. And uh, once you see that now, we can allocate it here on the right. Go to New Simple Volume. Again, don't really want to click on anything other than Next. You see those two numbers match up. Assign it to any letter you want. I usually just pick D. And then keep clicking Next until you get to Finish. And it should read Healthy which means now it is ready to use. And I'm gonna show you here in a second how to use it on Steam. As you can see here, we have a new uh, disc on D and it's showing up and that means it's all good and ready to start downloading to it. Let's try to download a game and I can show you how to switch to that storage device. So click install and as you can see, it's trying to still install to that first device. So you go to storage right here and add the plus now this is our new d drive we just want to click add and now it is ready to use we'll go back here and choose that when we're downloading the game so now when we click install you should see two storage devices that means it worked and now we're ready to install to our new boot device thanks so much for watching let me know if this was helpful and let me know in the comments if you have any more questions on how to do this Please like, comment, subscribe for more how-to videos like this from PC Bros.